What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, sir, ski. All right. So, man, we got Sukiana. Suki says she's like, she like the golden showers, bro. Suki's so ratchet and so ghetto, bro. Now it's coming back to haunt her, bro. She believes like, she believes that her her past is affecting her her financial gain, bro. So, I mean, you put that image out there yourself. I mean, the only thing that we know, Suki, is the things that you tell us in the way that you act. So now she's saying she she likes to get urinated on. Multiple times she said that. Um, she's be, she be wilding out here, bro. But now she's crying. She's crying about her past being exposed and it affecting her financial gain, bro. How she's going to change her image, I have no idea. Maybe she can't change it. But we're going to hear this spicy. Regretting some of her past actions because... Turn the volume up a little bit. Because she is breaking down and begging people to forget her past and move past it because it's affecting her bag. Hey, bro, shout out to Kiki's T for the info. Shout out to Kiki's T. Y'all go over there and check her channel out. It's crazy because people have always criticized her for her actions, but she has always claimed not to care and call people haters. She was all about that life, but now it has come to bite her in her behind. Y'all, she's having a mental breakdown over this, so let's break down this mess and why her past is ruining her future. Sukihana is known for acting out because it's her thing and she has built her entire brand on it. There have been so many instances of Sukihana acting ghetto and she is never sorry about it, or at least she didn't used to be. Like the time she admitted that she loved to pee on herself. I love to pee on myself. Okay, and some of the comments are really dis disgusting. Well, no, the thing is, I'm a disgusting person, so okay. it's just like... She also spoke to Jason Lee and admitted that she loved golden showers. And I f*** with Diddy, and one thing about me, I feel like I'm young Miami. I love when they piss on me. Yep, she really can be a handful. And Whoa. she has been called out several times because people feel like she gives black women a bad name because she's just not exactly the best representation of black women. But what do you I, say to them that say she's a terrible representation for black women? I Stop tell, posting her. She's disgusting. I feel like when they say disgusting, they're not lying. I feel like the people, ain't, if you, whatever you heard about me is the truth. Uh -huh. I don't give a Sukiana has been around for a hot minute now, and if we're being honest, she's actually doing quite well for herself. She has been on Love & Hip Hop as well as Baddies. She also has a lot of things going on for her right now. And as much as people think that she's ghetto and needs to start acting more mature and classier, she has actually managed to monetize it and turn it into a career. I mean, Baddies is known for having stars like Krishan, who also acts out badly in public as well. So Sukihana's character was right on brand for the type of career that she was trying to go for. And even when her private OnlyFans was leaked, she didn't seem to mind that much because it only gave her more visibility. But in recent times, well, her behavior has been going from bad to worse to downright concerning. And it eventually got to a point where even those who were gassing her up started to call her out for her weird behavior especially since she has kids who didn't need to see their mom acting like this on social media. For example, a couple of months ago, she was in London with a couple of friends and she decided to shout about how she needed some action badly. Yeah, that was super tacky of her. And did y'all catch the look on those women's faces? And people called her out, but again, she told us to mind her business. But it truly got out of hand at the VMAs because her behavior on the red carpet was just so inappropriate. Chow, honestly, it's just so what? embarrassing. You are being That's invited crazy. to VMAs and this is how you act? She managed to make it out of the hood, but she refuses to leave the hood and ghetto alone. It was literally her first time being invited to the VMAs, and that's what she did? I was half expecting security to lead her away from the stage, but luckily for her, they didn't, but she's probably not going to be invited back next year. I know this is her brand and how she makes money, and she was clearly trying to get attention, but at the same time, she went way too far, and she got dragged for it. One person commented, let's cancel Suki. She really make black bees look horrible. And Sukihana replied, y'all been looked horrible. Stop blaming me. Can y'all show all the times people looked horrible before me in this thread? Anyways, this sort of behavior has been working for her. Well, up until now, that is, because she has been trying to rebrand, but nobody is taking her seriously. 
She recently did a song with Sexy Red, and she has been trying to take her rap career more serious. After all, she is on Love & Hip Hop, and the show has launched several successful rap careers. So she's trying to do just that, launch her career, and leave that ghetto past behind and move forward. Unfortunately for her, people aren't so willing to forget about her past, especially since it wasn't so long ago that she was acting out in London and at the VMAs. I don't want to be a victim to the world. I want to be a strong person in the world so bad because I made a mistake. You are strong. It just hurts me so bad. I'm not just a celebrity. I have a real life and I make mistakes like everybody else. As hard as it sounds, she only has herself to blame for wow. this situation because Thanks. she is still acting ghetto while crying about how people are judging her for being ghetto. I get why she's so upset because she does have some potential as a rapper, but she's going to need to do a lot of work fixing her public image, and she might want to start off by hiring a good PR team to clean up her image instead. Well, people don't exactly feel sorry for her because it doesn't really look like she has changed, and they left comments saying, I love Suki, but girl, you were still doing 304 stuff 30 seconds ago. And no, everybody has not done some 304 stuff. Suki, you're still doing the same ish from your past. What are you crying for? This is what you signed up for. By the past, she meant like yesterday, cause, and no offense, but you can't cry over your past behaviors when they're still your current behaviors. If you knew better, you do better. Child, not her getting eaten up, but what do you guys think about this? Do you think that she is really serious about wanting to change or is this just another stunt? Drop your thoughts in the comments, then check out this next video. All right, bro. So, Suki, my my thing is just like everybody in the comments is saying, you crying over your past coming back to haunt you, and you just like you being bullied by the world right now because your bag is being messed up in some sort. But at the same token, bro, you is doing exactly the very same things in your past that you're crying about. You got to You got invited to the awards. You're down on your knees. This is the first time I ever seen somebody do that. The does that the worst, bro. You're on your knees in the doggy style position, bro. With all these important people there, brand deals and sponsorships, that you it's so many important people there. They don't want you to have that image. I think that you're talented. I think that you know you start off a certain way, and it's going to be hard for you to change your 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 your, your character. But at the same token, my personal opinion. I think it can be changed, man. I think it can be changed. I think you have to go find the correct people to do interviews with. You got to find people to do interviews with that's that's not going to really spill all your tea and ask you certain questions, but just enough little by little bit to give you a chance to explain yourself a little bit by little bit. And then maybe, maybe that can help. Hell, you should let me give you an interview. You should let me give you an interview. I think that'll do it. I think I can help you change your image. You dig? <laughs> yeah. But you guys, man, this your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, man. I thank each and every one of y'all for watching the channel. We're on the road to 100,000 subs. We're knocking on the door. It's right around the corner. So if you can ever so kindly smash that subscribe button, punch that like button right in the face. Stay tuned for the next video. You dig?